Hello and welcome to Positive Nutrition for Life course preview. My name is Paige Smathers and I'm so excited to share with you all about this brand new online course all about healing your relationship with food. Let's dive in. So here's what you can expect in this course preview video. I'm going to talk about me a little bit to introduce myself as the presenter. I will talk about the course and kind of give you an overview. I'll talk about what's included with the course and then I'll mention different learning styles and how the course appeals to different learning styles. And then I'll also mention what to expect in the course. Let's dive in. All of the content in this course is intended to be for informational purposes only and is not a replacement for individualized medical care or working with a registered dietitian. This course is not intended for anyone with an active eating disorder. The content in this course builds on the incredible research and work from those who have come before me, and I do want to give them credit because so much of what I teach in this course could not have been done without incredible teachers, mentors, researchers, and so many other people who have done such amazing work in this space. So a little bit about me as the course presenter and as the teacher here. My name is Paige Smathers. I have a private practice in Salt Lake City called Positive Nutrition. I'm also the host of Nutrition Matters podcast. I specialize in helping individuals, communities, and experts create positive relationships with food. If you aren't already, feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook for a little bit of food for thought and a little bit of positivity in your feed at Paige Smathers RD. This is an image you will see throughout the course on a very regular basis. I want to kind of show you what to expect with the illustrations, kind of give you an idea of some of the structure of the course so that you understand what to expect. Here's a brief overview of the course. First of all, we start off with laying the foundation about why diets don't work. So we talk about the physical reasons diet don't work and the psychological reasons diets have always failed you in the past. This is the foundation for the work that we do in the course. So we spend a little bit of time talking about this concept of why diets don't work, but the majority of what we do is we talk about what do you do from there? I've noticed a lot that a lot of people will focus just on this part. Diets don't work, diets don't work, but there isn't a lot of, okay, well, what do I actually do with that knowledge? What, what can I actually do? Um, part of the concept of positive nutrition is to, instead of always having this negative identity or this negative approach of don't do that, I like to really focus on what to do um, and this positive identity of I, I'm not just not dieting, I'm practicing positive nutrition. So that is what we spend the majority of the time on in the course after we've laid the foundation about why, it's don't, why diets don't work. So I walk you through how to build a positive, healthy, and sustainable approach to food. There are four pillars. The first is about mindfulness. The second pillar is body liberation. The third pillar is all about intuitive eating, and I do actually require that you buy the book so that we I can help you walk through it, but I do, I do really um, encourage and even require you to actually read the intuitive eating book. And then the fourth pillar is positive nutrition. All right, back to that visual I showed you earlier. This is an illustration that shows up over and over again throughout the course so that you can see really what we're trying to do here. So there are 10 lessons total in the course. Lessons one and two are all about laying the foundation of why diets don't work. Lessons three and four are the mindfulness pillar. So this is where we're talking about the core concepts of mindfulness and how to actually apply mindfulness into your life toward food. Pillar two is about body liberation. This is lessons five and six. Pillar three is lesson seven. This is intuitive eating. So many of you will already know this, but intuitive eating has 10 principles in it. So lesson seven is actually 10 mini lessons, 10 to 15 minute videos each, where I'm walking you through each principle separately, but I do ask you to read the principle in the book first so that you've read it, and then I kind of help to clarify anything that you might be confused about and kind of help you get through the book, hopefully with minimal confusion. And then pillar four is positive nutrition. This is lessons eight, nine, and 10. So here are the lessons. The first lesson is how to be successful with the course. I talk you through what you need to do, how to kind of uh, plan your time, 
and also how to get into the right mindset for being able to make this stuff sink in and really work in your life. Lesson two is all about di why diets don't work, both physically and psychologically. The third lesson is about the core concepts of mindfulness. And then the fourth lesson is how do you apply those core concepts into your everyday life? How do you understand your mind better? Lesson five is all about this concept of body liberation. And then lesson six is talking about 10 steps to a healthier body image. Lesson seven is those 10 mini lessons I already talked about of the 10 principles of intuitive eating. And then lesson eight is troubleshooting the most common pitfalls of intuitive eating and or just a non-diet approach to nutrition and health. Lesson nine is about positive nutrition. And then lesson 10 is putting it all together. So I want to talk a little bit about pacing yourself throughout the course and sort of what to expect time-wise. So this course is fairly in-depth and exhaustive. These are big, big concepts. So I'm constantly reminding you throughout the course to be very gentle with yourself and very patient. The lessons can be taken at your own pace, but here's kind of my recommendation of how to plan out your time. I highly recommend you do the homework, even if you feel like you've done activities or homework or worksheets like it before, it's going to really help sink have, have the information sink in on a different level. So you probably want to plan on setting aside about one to two weeks per lesson, coming back to lessons as needed. So there's 10 lessons total, but then within lesson seven, there's actually 10 mini lessons where I'm asking you to read a significant kind of chunk of the intuitive eating book before you watch the corresponding lesson in the course. So in total, there's actually 19 lessons. And I would say, you know, planning on about 20 weeks is pretty reasonable. So this is a good chunk of time. This is a fairly big commitment. But it's also really cool to be able to be get be getting so much great information at such a lower cost than typically you get if you're working with me one on one. So I recommend going into your calendar and blocking off about an hour per week to spend in the content of the course. Otherwise, things kind of fall through the cracks and you just don't quite have time for it. But if you plan it, it's going to happen. It's going to sink in. You're going to be consistently immersing yourself in the course, which is the goal, but also not taking it too fast where you don't actually end up really internalizing the messages. So let's take a look inside the course. I want to show you what this looks like. So here's where you access the course. You head on over to positive-nutrition.com and you click on Academy. Many of you have probably found this video because you are already on here, but just in case you're finding this on YouTube or some other, other channel, I wanted to show you how to access this. So you can read more about the course by clicking on this image here. And then this will take you to an info page about the course. So just kind of check it out, read about it, um, learn more about it there. And it's taken a minute to load, looks like. Internet's probably slow with recording this. So you head on down to the bottom and just click on Enroll Now. This will take you to the checkout page that I use. I use Teachable to host the, uh, the course. So this will take you to the checkout page. You just fill in your information and um, click purchase. Then you'll get an email to, to log into the course. This is what the actual course looks like. This is the Teachable page. It's found at academy.positive-nutrition.com. And what you do is you just click on the video there and watch the video. It'll tell you how long of a video this one is, 25-ish minutes. Next one's about 40 minutes. And then you scroll down and I provide you with uh, links to blog posts and podcast episodes and other resources that you might want to check out. Then you also have the slides, a PDF of the slides, as well as in this very first lesson, you also have the student workbook, which contains all of the homework in it. And I do recommend that you print that out right away so that you are able to kind of just have it and quickly and you don't need to kind of go in and, and re-find the homework. You're able to just have it with you each time you do one of the lessons. So that is what all of this looks like. Okie doke. And then once you complete a lesson, you just click complete and continue and it will take you to the next lesson. And so again, this is the course curriculum. This is the outline. You can see kind of all of the different lessons that I've already talked about there. So that is what the course actually looks like inside of the, the members area. All right. 
So let's talk about some of the resources for the course. I have some required resources and some recommended ones. So required resources would be the intuitive eating book. I do talk about this in the first lesson. I just say, hey, hop on Amazon if you don't already have a copy and you'll need that for lesson seven for all of the mini lessons contained there. And then a journal or a binder to print the student workbook. And then some recommended resources are the Positive Nutrition 101 online course that I co-teach with Jesse Hoffman, PhD, where we're talking about the science of nutrition without the gimmicks. That is a really good course to consider taking possibly after this course where you've done some work to heal your relationship with food and you might be ready for sort of that gentle nutrition part of intuitive eating. We're talking about kind of how to bust the myths of uh, some diet culture myths about nutrition and it's a really powerful, great course. It has 12 lessons. I'm super proud of what we put together there. So consider checking that out. And then another recommended resource would be the Health at Every Size book. And then the last one would be the Beauty Redefined online course. Consider checking that out as well. So at the end of every lesson, I provide links to blog posts, podcast episodes, and other resources for more learning outside of the formal course. These are optional, but the more you immerse yourself in this content, the easier it will be to implement. So my goal is to really hit on different learning styles. The video is really nice. There's some visual things, um, but then there's it's also really valuable sometimes to read. Uh, it's also really valuable sometimes to listen to podcast episodes where you get different perspectives and different points of view from the different guests on the podcast. And then also I, I might throw in um, a book or a PDF for, for other, or other resources in there if you want to check it out. So this is intended to really give you a more immersive experience with this content because it can kind of feel like learning a different language. And the more you immerse yourself in it, the easier it will be to really have this stuff sink in and for you to internalize these messages. So that's the goal with the more learning section at the end of each uh, at the end of each lesson. And then also at the end of each lesson, I also provide you with at least one homework assignment, which is found in the student workbook, um, helping you to deepen your knowledge, helping you to kind of explore concepts that might be able to to be really effective in you in you uh, continuing to progress in healing your relationship with food. So with all of that, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me for this course preview. I'm hoping that this gives you a bit of an idea about what to expect for the course. Um, if you decide to join us, I'm so pumped. If you don't decide to join us, that's okay too. I wish you all the best in your process and your journey with healing your relationship with food. And I hope that I can be a part of that in one way or another. Thanks so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you inside the course.